the entire globe was watching the event taking place. Going to the South Pole is not a child's play. We have really made it happen with the hard work. So we are shown to the world that uh, we are second to none as far as the space technology is concerned. Very proud moment and uh, so like, how do you look at it first of all? Uh, really, it's a remarkable achievement as far as the Indian Space Program is concerned, and the entire nation is uh, proud of this uh, great achievement. Uh, you know, to announce that uh, we'll be landing on a nearby object like Moon, uh, about four lakhs kilometers away, uh, on a particular date, particular time, and particular place, and uh, that uh, has been realized. Uh, like a, uh, like almost with textbook precision. That is something uh, first in the world. And not only that, we were so transparent. The entire operational sequence were put out in the public domain and the entire globe was watching the event taking place. Uh, going to the South Pole is not a child's play. We have really made it happen with the hard work and the efforts put in by the entire ISRO team and ISRO community. Of course, we have had failures in the past. The Chandrayaan-2 was a failure. But the, whatever lessons learned has been used for correcting the Chandrayaan-3. And that is what made the things happen today. And uh, really, it's a highly uh, proud moment for the entire globe. And uh, also, we are shown to the world that uh, we are second to none as far as the space technology is concerned. So now the rover will be coming out soon. That's what we are waiting for. Look at all that other technical stuff. Uh, well, I think uh, the first thing is uh, the technology proving is, a, uh, is a something which is unique, as I mentioned. Uh, in addition, of course, the scientific findings, we have some clue from the remote observation from the Chandrayaan 1 and Chandrayaan 2. So this rover will uh, go down on, around for the surroundings, maybe a few hundred meters at best, and then uh, try to analyze locally what is there. Of course, it take close pictures to start with. Then, of course, it will try to look at the minerals and the water component and also the helium-3 and so on. And uh, type of seismic uh, phenomena which may take place there. And uh, again, uh, the type of uh, rare atmosphere which is around the moon and its characteristics, the ionization effects and so on. So it's going to be a very unique experimental setup and it is going to throw a lot of light on the origin of the moon and uh, its uh, behavior.